Tenemos en esta ocasión al doctor este James Oxy, él es eh, microbiólogo, quien trabaja en el Centro de Patógenos Emergentes de la Universidad de New Jersey, New Jersey Medical School Rutgers. Uh, welcome to Huancayo. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. How, uh, how do you find Huancayo? Do you like the city? I love the city. Um, lots of colors, lots of activity, mm -hmm. and a lot of taxis. So, uh, you told us also about uh, tuberculosis. Uh, what type of research are you doing on uh, mycobacteria? We, we study in our lab the interaction between um, the mycobacterium um, tuberculosis and the macrophage. So normally when a person uh, inhales mycobacterium tuberculosis, it's engulfed in the macrophages. Um, and the macrophages are white blood cells that actually engulf invaders. Many times uh, a pathogen is killed by the macrophage, but with mycobacterium tuberculosis, it sends some kind of chemical signal to the macrophage that you need to leave me alone, I'm gonna live in this macrophage for a while. So um, we're trying to figure out what the chemical signals are um, that tell the, the macrophage, or the, that from the mycobacterium that tell the macrophage to, to let me be quiescent and remain in the macrophage um, for an in, indefinite amount of time. In fact, um, it's an old uh, quote by many, many uh, mycobacteriologists that one third of the uh, general population is infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis, but not everyone shows signs and symptoms. So something, some chemical signal from the bacterium is, is keeping the uh, bacterium able to hide within the body in the macrophages. It is like uh, the bacteria protects uh, itself from being destroyed. Correct. Uh, uh, but this, is, this doesn't uh, only occur if you are immunocompromised. It can, it can occur also in patients that are immunocompetent. Well, that's, that's a good question. Um, and in our lab, we actually um, use uh, macrophages in culture, and we, we have mycobacteria that have different um, colors that they emit. Um, I, for example, green fluorescent protein. So we can, we can trace an infection within a macrophage and see if it's being killed or not. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So uh, finally, um, uh, we want you to give a message for our students. Here you work as a microbiologist and uh, we have uh, here students not only uh, of the medical career, but also for nursing and, and uh, also obstetrics and other careers, or the medical science in general. So we want you, if you can give a message to encourage them to study and how interesting you find your field of work, maybe you have some fun even in your work. Well, thank you. Um, it, it's, uh, I think it's important to study infectious disease. And years ago in the United States, there was a famous um, uh, clinician, I believe he was, who said that the era of infectious diseases is over. Well, we know that's not the case. Unfortunately, um, there's always going to be infectious disease, and I think it's a very rewarding co career, especially with world travel. Um, for example, Chagas disease, which is endemic in South America, now be found in Europe, North America, Canada, um, etc., and even some Asian countries. So. Um, study an infectious disease is always going to be a challenge, it's always going to be changing, and I, I would pursue it as a career if I were a physician. Thank you very much.